What is up guys, Basic Battles here, and today I will be doing another review and reaction of Death Battle with a few new surprises. Sorta, kinda, maybe, sorta. Uh, yeah. It might not sound very different, but I did get a new microphone, and that, there is a reason because of that, which I'll show you when I pull up the Death Battle. Which I guess I forgot to pull up for this, so hold on. Bear with me. So today we will be doing the Team and T Battle Royale. This episode. Don't tell me what the episode is sponsored by. The fans will be spoiled. So yeah. New surprise today. We got the face cam going. Look at that. You can see my beautiful, lovely face. Pretty far back because I haven't found a good place for it yet. So I just stuck it on my computer. Um, but yeah. So yeah. We got face cam now. You get to see my smiling face. And my lights back there, which I'm sure isn't as bad now because the sun is going down. But it was pretty bad earlier. It was like I was getting engulfed by light over here. So yeah. We will... We'll see. Oh yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. But yeah, so I got a new mic right here. And yeah. Um, give me your thoughts on that. <laughs> when I... On this whole setup, if you would. If anyone cares enough to. But yeah, this is new, so I'm gonna try this now. You're gonna see my big smiling face while we react to Death Battle. Also, it's a lot less likely <laughs> that I get crap for this because literally I was honestly just posting the episodes with commentary over them for my first five. So I did want to do that. I felt like that was unfair to the Death Battles, you know, just basically reposting their videos. And yeah, I don't want to do that. So I. I'm still kind of doing that, but at least you get to see my ugly mug in there at some point. With hopefully a little bit better audio quality. I think this mic is just a, is a little bit better. It was I bought it for pretty cheap. So, you know. Always looking for a deal, you know? But yeah, so today, uh, this isn't available. I don't think it's available in the country, the United States. So, on the playlist I'm doing, someone just posted a re-upload of this. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the story is behind that, the why Team and T Battle Royale is not available anymore. I'm sure Death Battle has something up somewhere. I'll do some research, but yeah. We'll be reacting to that today. And yeah. Death and reviewing. Don't Game forget Fly. the other R. Go to www.gamefly.com slash death battle for your free trial membership. I will be seeing how loud this, uh, you can actually hear the Death Battle. Because when I'm not talking, it's just like you're subtly hearing it just a little bit. Leonardo. Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were huh, I do like how they used four different versions of, of the Turtles. They didn't just use like the same show. Lots of superheroes have some weird <laughs> origin nice. stories, but this one is plain ridiculous. Their greatest advantage in battle is their family bonded teamwork. But on their own, which turtle is deadly? He's with and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to It sucks that this battle was released so early. I actually think. Come on, 720p? Wow. Well, we're watching in 360, baby. That movie box pro standard. I literally just called myself that as a pirate. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. I am such an idiot sometimes. Wow. Many timelines, Leonardo is the one who ultimately defeats the Shredder, though always with plenty of help. As leader, he is usually the one with the plan. He spends most of his time training his body and mind under his master Splinter's instruction and follows Bushido, a strict. Yeah, like I was saying, I really hope. Um, At one point, he even fought and killed a sort of physical embodiment of the dead. This is kind of one of the ones that I want to rematch of. Leonardo finds it difficult to accept. You know? So many versions of the turtles have come out since this battle, which is crazy to think because you know every every once in a while they just release a new show. 
We got the Rise show, we got the 2012 show, which is the best one in my opinion. We obviously the new movie, and that's getting a sequel in 2026, I believe. Um, they're coming out with a new show. So yeah. The resulting intermittent multipolar flux should create the electromagnetic pulse. What the hell did I just hear? All that gibberish means he's probably trained less than the others, devoting more of his time. Probably. Do your research. Don't make assumptions in death battle. What's wrong with you, Boomstick? Six feet long, the bow gives Donatello far more attack range than his other brothers. The range is nice, but takes a lot of time and patience. Dude, that thing is like. He's no expert strategist. The thing is like nine feet long in the 2012 show. In this show too, I mean that thing's huge. It's not a six feet. How tall is Donatello? Michelangelo is the youngest of the turtles. He's lazy, undisciplined, and easily distracted. He spends his free time playing video games, watching TV, reading comic books, and eating pizza. That turtle is fucked up. What? Come on, you can't tell me that that turtle is not on drugs. I don't know. We need to get um the last Ronin in Death Battle like yesterday. If that's one of the uh if that's one of the new Kickstarter Death Battles, that would be pretty. That'd be pretty sick. Weapons are unnecessarily overcomplicated clubs with the effectiveness of a tattered fly swatter. Yet somehow Michelangelo has been able to blunder. Wiz, I would like to see you get hit with a nunchuck, bro. Even beat Rat one. Sure, I get it. Swing chucks around, give them momentum to hit with, and blah blah blah. But in the end, a baseball bat will give you the same effect and more with much less effort. Seriously, who came up with these things? They're preposterous. You're preposterous. I don't know. And for some reason, in all his infinite wisdom, the great Master Splinter gave the most complicated weapon to the retard of the group. Oh. Why? <laughs> like he's not gonna win this fight, is he? Uh. he better not. Oh, so That's not how you end an analysis, guys. We need suspense, you know? Don't Can't just end it with that. Man, they really called Mikey a uh, slur. Hey, this is why, bro. They need to bring this back, bro. I need to try this again because they didn't. They did Mikey so dirty. There's more to him than just being a goof, bro. He's got his moments. Raphael is not exactly the smartest fighter, usually rushing into a brawl without a plan and just overpowering a foe. Because of this, Raphael spends much of his time honing his They kind of made it really obvious who the winner of this was going to be, you know, based on these analysis alone, man. He is naturally hot-headed and sometimes loses control of his rage. He is much more vicious than the other turtles and at one point in the comics even became the Shredder himself. Damn! Alright, the combatants are set. Let's uh, end this debate once and for all. Wait up, Wiz. I, gotta rent the I don't care about sponsorships. We have it. We 2011 have it. sponsorships. Gamefly! Gamefly? Come on now. Give me a break. Give me my 320p sprite battle. Okay, they gave Mikey the worst analysis, they called him, <laughs> they called him a slur, and then they gave him two good hits, bro. Why did they hate Michelangelo, bro? The best thing to come out of, um, oops, death battle, um, involving, oh, never mind, actually. <laughs> I was gonna say best thing involving a uh, team and but that's not even true. Future battle we're gonna get to in the far future is really good. But the DBX of Raphael and Wolverine is also a really top tier DBX. It's so good. Just a fast paced blurry kind of thing. It's great. Test of will. <laughs> That screen scream was kind of funny. Whoa, somebody call an ambulance. Or a vet. I don't know. There is a reason why
why Leonardo is the leader of the team. Not for strength or speed, but for strategy. See what I mean? Like, they kind of made it really obvious that Leo is going to win this one. They were really pointing it with the weaknesses of the other three, but not not Leo that much. By the time Raph got his revenge, Leo was in way better shape for the final duel. And I can hear all the fanboys raging, but Raph won in the movie. Didn't you win here? Nya, nya. No. Four reasons. No. Because the fight was specifically plot constructed, which is rarely accurate. Two, Leonardo absolutely decimated Raph in the fist fight beforehand. Three, Leonardo didn't want to fight at all. If he did, he would have killed Raphael right here. Tilt the blade, slide left, bam. No more Raph. And fourth, that whole movie doesn't make much sense to begin with. Why should this? Okay, using the 20, 2007 movie as a basis is not good. Which they didn't, sort of. Or they kind of did for Leo winning. Two, this is probably the worst case scenario of them commentating on the fight instead of just actually, you know. Like, oh, Leo got stabbed, that should kill him. Like, no, stop commentating on the sprite fight. Tell me why they actually should have won. That's a really cool concept, though. Someone winning a battle royal and then immediately going into um a next matchup. That's pretty cool. Uh, interesting. It's definitely a novelty. You know, it's like you think about death battles and you're like, oh my goodness. On paper, a TMT battle royale just sounds like a great idea. You know? But it was just fine. It was alright. It was uh, the they did Mikey dirty. They made it really obvious who was gonna win. Uh, only Mikey and Donnie didn't really get to do anything. Donnie got a little bit, but then he just got hit, 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 and then he just got brutally killed. Final showdown wasn't much. It was just a few sword swings. Just dink, 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 and then they just power strength. And the killing blow was kind of cool with them both stabbing each other and Leo hitting the neck. That was pretty fun. Victory screen was a little dumb. And the post analysis isn't good at all. Because they just, it's the worst, it's probably the worst case scenario of them just commentating on the fight, which I don't like at all. But of course, that's season one shenanigans for you. Interesting. Definitely not my favorite of season one. Probably my second, le second to last so far. Maybe last, honestly. Just not good. Probably second to last over Rogue. But, you know, it's not really a ranking. It's just a review reaction. You know? If I had to try to remember all 32 death battles, I would have to make a tier list. And I don't feel like doing that. Maybe I will redo the tier list because I already did. I already ranked season one after my initial rewatch a few months ago. But maybe I'll do it again after this. We'll see. We'll see. That was fun. Team of T Battle Royale done. Uh, next, I think is well. Next, I know Zitz versus Leonardo. So yeah, that was certainly interesting. I really, I know this isn't going to win the rematch poll for the Kickstarter. It's probably going to be something else. Like uh, like a Mewtwo versus Shadow or a um, Green Lantern versus Ben 10. Something a little bit more recent. Like season, around like season 3 to season 6 range is probably like the cutoff for rematches, I think. I don't think any season 7 to um, after are getting rematches. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, I don't think this one will get it. It'd be cool, it'd be cool, but you know. I definitely want to see the other turtles back in death battle. Like, you know, I want the last Ronin, obviously. Um, Ra Donatello's apparently got a matchup at something, which I forgot what it was. Mike, um, what was it? It was um, obviously Michelangelo versus Jay from Ninjago is one that people want. Um, Raph versus um, Red Hood or Raphael versus Bakugo. Is that his name? Bakugo? From My Hero Academia? Guy who, the guy who blows stuff up. The, him versus Red Hood or him versus Bago is one that, or two that I heard of. So yeah, maybe bring Wrath back for one of those. That sounds interesting. Leo, he already, like I said, there's this next one and the future ones, Leo's got his fill. He's got some, he's got some better times ahead <laughs> in Death Battle. So yeah, he's fine. Good time. Zitz versus Leonardo next, which will probably be a very short reaction interview, but it is what it is. Thank you all for watching.